hey welcome back to my channel guys and today in this video we are going to look at how we can use the repeater component of the filament form library and use it along with relationships so that we can populate multiple relationships in our application to demonstrate this functionality we will take a hypothetical situation where we have certificates and what we want to do is assign or rather attach certificates to a student the idea is that a student will take part in different competitions and based on that he will get certain certificates so without wasting much time let's see how this can be done so the first thing that i'm going to do is create a model which is let's just say i'll need the migration and i don't need the factory i'll just create a migration for certificate okay and because it is going to be a like a many to many kind of a relationship we will need one more model which is the you know pivot kind of a model so we will have certificate student so with these two models created let's first look at the new migration that we created which is if i go to my database folder go inside migrations i have this thing so a certificate will typically have a name a description and let's just say we keep one more active column as well as a boolean value right so we have these three columns one is a string column which is the name then we have text column for description and we have the boolean column is active somehow the statement is uh, makes more sense it's more readable like certificate is active which will basically mean if is active is one then it is true if it is zero then it is not active and i have indexed it all right now i would need one more table which is the pivot table so there are two ways to do this either you create one more migration or what you can do is add it like this so we will need to have the drop statement as well and obviously i don't need all these columns what i will need is a foreign id for student and a foreign id for certificate and then we will add one more small column which is a description describing how the student got the certificate okay all right so i have this migration in place as well now let me quickly run the helper so that you know, i have generated that eloquent helper this is done i'll need to run the migration so php artisan migrate creates that table and then let me quickly work on the model so the first one is certificate we'll go inside the certificate and have a fillable array where we have name description and is active okay this is created and then we have one more which is certificate student and in here i'll make a small change this doesn't extend model when we have situations where we just need a model for the pivoting point of view for pivoting purpose we can add it extends pivot pivot is coming from the relationships okay um oops how do i clear up yes so this is done we have the basic models ready the only thing now i need to do is inside student add the certificate relationship certificates and this has many No, sorry. I made a mistake. It's not has macro but rather has many. And this will be class. With this in place, let's import this thing. And I think that's pretty much it. Because the model student has many certificates. It reads properly. Now to demonstrate this, I will need two certificates. So what I will do is I'll play around with it a little bit, add two data 
points over here. Let's just say we have drawing certificate, some description is active as one now, now, okay. And the second one, let's just say, is quiz certificate, some quiz description one now now all right so we have these two entries and what we want to do obviously is add entries over here based on what student has received how do we do that let's go to our application first i'll refresh so let's say student id 10 needs a way to map that you know these are the one or two certificates or maybe the same certificate being added multiple times by that student so how do we do that um, let's see we'll go to student resource over here obviously we need a repeater element so for that what I will do is first copy this section over here I'll remove the collapsed and inside the repeater I'll remove this schema this is what certificates add student certificate information something like that and this is this is certificates right so certificates this is the relationship okay and this is what we would be like to uh, we would like to save now the certificates will be a list of the certificates and the description right so basically it's a select list so i'll bring in this select make this is certificate id because we need two columns right if you look at this table we need the student certificate id the description the student id will automatically be created for you based on the relation right so um yeah so i am populating the certificate id it's a select list so i'll need to pass in the options which is certificate all pluck the first one is value which is name and then key which is id and this is fine as far as i understand i'll need a text input make description and let's see what do we have I have an error which is fine let's understand why we have that error okay I'll have some cleanup to do but now I have certificates over here add certificate all right I'm getting the drop down I would like to add let's just say a small little thing over here searchable and let's just say this is required okay with this in place let's refresh and try and see okay so now I have the ability to search because I can do quiz and I will get only this one came first something like that and let's try to save now i'll get some validation errors yes i was expecting it so let's fill that out and hit save changes it got saved which is nice and let's see so if i refresh this table nothing happened why is that the case okay it is not getting saved at all so something is not working properly let's understand so we have this uh, the relation is let's quickly look at student things certificates yes this is correct certificate student this is also fine certificate underscore student this is working properly hmm why don't we try once more let's see drawing certificate a b c d hit save okay 
and this is not working which is a bit weird and I don't understand what error I'm I have created because for some reason it just simply isn't working so let's do one thing to debug this I will add one entry and see if it is able to retrieve that data so I'll come over here no it is not because right now I have a certificates student has many certificates uh, let's look at it from the tinkers perspective as well uh, so I have tinker what I need to do is app models uh, student with certificates and find 10 sir oh my bad certificates spelling is wrong okay I do get the entry which means it is able to load the relation but in the resource resource I think I haven't done that and that's the reason it is not able to understand it so what you need to do is add this additional call this additional method and I think now I am able to get it so as you can see this entry is now visible because we have one entry in the pivot table if I delete it hit save it goes away and now just let's try and add a drawing certificate party C pated something like that and quiz certificate came first in year 2022 something like that hit save and we have this in place so as you can see the repeater component is quite an interesting one it not only allows you to add some you know, dynamic data as part of a you know, JSON field for example you know what we did over here right which is O positive something like that and if I save I'm able to on a constant basis populate data in this JSON table of ours but it is not only limited to that I can also use the repeater to populate these many to many kind of relationships where you know we have a certificate stable we populate our drop down using the you know, certificate stable and then we are using the pivot table to save the information and hence you know, this is where you know, filament comes as a very strong contender in saving a lot of time and re really there is very less chances of going wrong in things because what you are practically doing is configuring things rather than writing code around your crud so yeah that's about it guys that's what i wanted to cover in this video if you like this video do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel